What to see, what to rent, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. That's her? That's definitely her. She's a dime. Oh, this girl's more than a dime for her. Oh life. my God, were you in love with this girl already? Joseph, I was loving this movie. I think it was about 30 minutes in that I realized I'm staring up at the screen, smiling the whole time. <laughs> at what point did you first know this was gonna be such a crowd pleaser? Uh, well, I always wanted it to be that way. You know, it's a movie about some pretty provocative or thought provoking questions about our expectations of gender roles. And I think when you're gonna make a movie about those things, the best way is often to Make it a comedy. I think you finally cracked the code for getting dudes into the theater for a romantic comedy. Uh-huh. How intentional is that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I wanted dudes to come see the movie and I wanted uh, dudettes to come <laughs> see the movie. Uh, and it is sort of a romantic comedy, but it's not, uh, it's not a typical one. Don't lie to me. Hey. Look, you don't know me, so I'm gonna let you off the hook this time. But trust me, in the future, you'll be much happier if you always tell me the truth. Wait, 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 I'll be happier? Well, you don't think I can make you happy if I wanted to? Well, you were writing this all along, were you thinking, I'm gonna play Don John and Scarlett Johansson has to be my Barbara? Yeah, actually, I was picturing her from the very beginning of, of thinking up that character. And uh, I've, you know, I've always been an admirer of her work. I think she's a really great actress, whether it's Lost in Translation or Vicky Cristina Barcelona, as well as the, the chandelier sketch on SNL, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, This almost kind of felt a little bit like a, like a feature length SNL skit, right? One that could, could really work, because sometimes those fizzle out after about three minutes. Mm -hmm. But the comedy is sustained, the whole film. Was that a uh -huh. challenge in the writing? Uh, well, I think it's because um, it's not just about jokes, you know, like some sometimes I get bored after the first half hour of a comedy because their only goal is to make you laugh. Whereas this is gonna make you laugh, but it also has a story to tell about these people and about, you know, what it's like to fall in love and what it's like to have sex and what it's like to be bombarded with these different overly sexified images uh, in, in various kinds of media. Mm -hmm. It is sexy. It's sort of like the raciest movie ever about old fashioned <laughs> dating, uh, right? <laughs> okay, that's one way. To is there a director's cut that's gonna be released that's NC-17? No, no, it was always supposed to be rated R. This is the director's cut, mm -hmm. what's coming out in theaters. Can we take it from the, the top of that last take? <laughs> How different is acting when you're directing yourself? It's pretty normal for actors, when you see your own face or hear your own voice, it can be disconcerting. But I've made so many little short films and videos over the years. I've gotten used to the sight of my own face and the sound of my own voice, so, uh, so it wasn't a problem for me. Was there anything on the page that you couldn't wait to shoot and then it just turned out very differently in retrospect? Uh, that's a cool question. Let's see, um, there's a scene where John and Barbara break up. That's my character and Scarlett's character. And I wrote it and it was funny. And the scene is still funny. And one of it, it's always one of the biggest laughs in the movie actually. But what happened when we shot it is it really became a, a genuine breakup scene. And if you've ever broken up with someone, you know those hurt. And Scarlett really brought that genuine emotion to it. And uh, I think that did kind of surprised me in a really good way, and it made the scene way better than, than what I conceived. And I'm loving the buzz that you yourself are kind of putting out to the universe of wanting to do a movie musical. Yeah, Chan and I have talked about wanting to do a musical together. That'd be really fun. Awesome.